Hi once again. Um, yeah, someone asked me the age of that uh, Euphorbia Susanne. Honestly, don't know, but um, I've had it hmm, before the COVID, so it must be about three to four years, and it has grown quite a bit. It's quite a fast grower, uh, so you know that's uh, my answer for that one. Sorry, I can't give sort of any closer information. Anyhow, let's get on to another plant. This one is only really a baby. It's the good old Alo placatilus. It's a very distinct species. It's one of the tree Alos, but not in this case. This is, as I say, a youngster. It's got a good strong stem. Get an idea of the size when I put my ruler. There's a foot ruler, that gives an idea of the size and also my hand being there. That is a stem, good and firm. Um, actually by doing these little talks I can check the plant over and clean it up. This one had a, a few dead leaves and um, a couple of damaged leaves where I've cut the damage off. So as I say, to me it's a fairly, well, it is a slow grower. I don't grow it fast. It likes full sun. Um, soil should be, if possible, well drained. Uh, this has just had a drink, probably the last drink of the year, depending on what the weather's going to be. Here you can see the nice fan arrangement of the leaves. Is often called a fan halo, and as I say, this is a youngster, and they do grow to tree halo. I understand they're only coming from a very restricted area in the Western Cape. And before I get accused of not bringing up the new names, as you probably know, I'm one of the older members and uh, remember the old names. I still remember Malacocarpus, Malacocarpus cellowi, which I believe is now a gymnoclysium, and uh, Echinofossilocactus, Echinopsis, uh, means um, a spined grooved cactus. Now they call it Stenocactus. So anyhow, perhaps I am a bit old fashioned. And as regards to Pelias, well, <laughs> forget it. The names have completely changed. Anyhow, I'm getting off my soapbox. Um, this is now known as Cumara Plicatilus. That's K-U-M-A-R-A. -A. Plicatilus, Cumara. Obviously from the same area, Western Cape. Flowers are obviously not on this plant yet and it'll probably be many years before it does flower a typical halo type flower it's a pinky red so anyhow if you want a nice slow growing halo which is not going to grow you out of house and home this one is certainly for you um, be careful if it doesn't topple this one's as I say is on a bit of a wobbly pot so um, either plant in a uh, a stone stoneware pot or something a bit heavy at the moment it's just in a plastic cheapo pot but it does the job and believe it or not I've even got a name to it which is unusual for me Halo Picatinus showing the old name anyhow everyone hope you enjoyed I'll pop this up on good old YouTube I don't know what I'm going to put up next, but um, we will see. Just in passing, is rather interesting. As you know, I ordered the plant from from China, and the service is superb. They've just sent me a picture through, showing the actual picture of the plant they're sending me, and they're obviously very concerned that it's being packed well. So as I say, these. 
it looked like they're doing a grand job. This one didn't come from China, by the way. I don't know where I did get this one from. Possibly one of the shows that they have, or the bring and buys. Talking about bring and buys, I haven't been to one of those for quite a while. Once again, I'm blaming it on COVID. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Any comments, please make. And, um, yeah, I'll put another plant up soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.